have subscribed even though I've been away for a while. I thought today with the release of the new update it would be a great time to jump back into the game and start creating content again. Today we'll be going through the patch notes of the new update and then looking at the content in the game as well to see how it fits and uh, to see what it looks like to give you guys a, a peek in that as well. Visitors from the Void update released on the 19th of April here in Australia. Um, I know the video is coming out a bit late but I had work and a few other things going on as well. New content. Tier 13 is here. 37 new blueprints are now available. Brave shopkeepers may craft the Cataclysmic Pandora's Box or the Balefire Armor Set. That sounds exciting and I can't wait to have a look at that one. Also consider the ultimate fruit salad as a refreshing treat. Um, but wow, <laughs> it looks like it's six million dollars. That'd be quite some fruit salad. Now this update brings a new uh, resource worker, Zoli the Ghost. It says here that she is interested in lazing around but she's the only one who can handle the very valuable essence resource. Furthermore, her unique ghostly form allows her to walk through your furniture, which I'd, that'd be interesting to have a look at, your customers as well. I guess she's a ghost. So to unlock her and start harvesting this resource, you need to unlock her haunting place, the mausoleum, a level 10 temple is also required. New resources. The wispy essence is scarcely seen in our world. It must be contained in special magical globes. Now I wonder what they mean by that. And this resource is required for all tier 13 items and found in very short supply. New questing locations as well. A mysterious gate leading to a terrifying place known as the void dimension has opened. Heroes willing to brave this unfathomable landscape will find the components necessary to craft the tier 13 item. But beware the creatures that call this place home. Not sure if we'll need to uh, continue to strengthen our uh, heroes or if they'll all have elemental um, shields. That'll be interesting to see. Lots of little other updates here. Maximum building levels has increased to 23. The max level of the tavern and emerald inn also increase to support the new quest. The workers level also increases to level 45, um, which is awesome. That allows them to craft things faster for you. New guild updates have been added to support the new essence resource. In addition, the guild level cap has been increased to 300. New ascension milestones are available in the ascension trees. New titles. For helping guildmates and for those who have been playing for a long time. A major change is resource bins are no longer limited to five per type in your shop. So if you want to specialize a bit more, you can do that. Heaps of minor changes and balancing changes as well. Dragon hordes at level 16 or higher will hold a small quantity of essence. Cool. Um, building level rebalance. Most buildings require less investments. That's good news for those low level guilds that struggle to get the investments. So you might see your buildings gain a level or two, which would be awesome for you guys. The King is back again on the May the 1st and going until the 4th of May as well. So make sure you make the most of him. And there's a whole heap of other bug fixes. Uh, once again, you guys can read through them. Coming up next, this update marks the last tier 12 opulent item. Next month, expect a new chest, a new key, and a new look for Tier 13 Lost City of Gold item. I'd be exciting to see that as well. It's good to see that they've, hopefully, will be able to roll that straight out. All right, guys, let's jump over to the game and check out this new content. Okay, here we are in the game. Let's check out the some of the Tier 13 items. As we can see, straight off the bat, it costs 200 research scrolls to unlock, which should not be be an issue for those of us who've been playing for a while and have a few. I know a lot of people have a lot more than I do, but they'll definitely use up those research scrolls finally. So we're just looking at the axes at the moment. As you can see, 
base price is about $5.6 million. Requires five of the new um, Essence, three of the uh, Astrial fabric, and two of the eggshells from previous quests. It also requires a load of jewels. So these seem to be quite difficult to craft um, just at first glance. But it's definitely a challenge that many people, I think, will be looking forward to. It seems like most uh, crafts averaging about 5 to 6 million base gold. That's until you reach the increase in value there. The good thing about these is it only takes 45 to master them. But I'm sure it will take quite a long time to still do that. Okay, jumping back to the axe, I'm going to unlock this one and see if we can find out a bit more about it. So just the axe, it takes four hours to craft, as it is for me straight away. Hopefully as the workers level increase, they will come down a lot. The first time reduction will reduce that 30%. So they'll take, I guess, an hour and 20 of it. So that's quite substantial. And then of course, um, ascending them will be beneficial to you as well. I'm going to unlock all my other main ascension lines and see what the crafting times for them are as well. So they all seem to be about close to four hours, but the time reduction is the first one, so that will help you a lot. Okay, let's have a look at how we get this resource. This popped up for me, so it might pop up for you, but it's up to you if you buy that or not. But I think it will give you a huge boost start if you can afford it, but obviously it's up to you. At the moment, I'm free play only, so I won't be getting this one. Okay, so if we go into our furniture tab, we can see here we've got the essence beacon. So that's what they mean by it has to be stored in special containers. So it is 1.5 million straight up. For the first one, remembering that each time you buy one, it increases. So let's just place it up here near our dragon's tower. 2.3 million for the first upgrade. Um, I think I already got something going. Yeah. We'll just leave that for now. But at least we've got five essence to get started. So some things you can craft straight away with just five essence. Otherwise... Um, a few, a lot of other things just require six straight away, so you'll have to upgrade it to even do that one. And this one is actually 250 research scrolls, so seems like they vary a bit, but at least they'll use them up for you. To get the components, we have to unlock the new area, Void Dimension. So as you can see, it's quite expensive, 4.5 billion gold. Um, obviously, I'm not even close to that, but... For most late game players, that won't be an issue to reach. Once you do, you'll be able to start questing. I'll make another video for you guys when I have that unlocked, so we can take, take a deeper look at it. But for now, we'll just um, be able to just look at the uh, components there. Or, of course, you can unlock it for gems, which is up to you, but probably not worth it in my books. The last few things that we need to check out is the new titles available for our character as you can see i'm already eligible for some of them so let's check it out so lovely is just helping your guildmate i'm um, assuming that means um, helping them upgrade their furniture so i can do a few of those most people should be able to have that one maxed out by now so to get the lovely one maxed you need to help your guildmates 5,000 times, which is just a matter of time playing. Ancient is just sticking around for a certain amount of days, a whole year for level four, and wow, 730 days for level five. That would be, yeah, two years. I think that would be since your account was created. I don't think that would be two years playing every single day. And the last thing we need to check out is the ascension lines. So these are my main lines medicine and if you go to the end you can see there they've added in a few more so you've got the increase in essence production by two percent which will be coming in handy um, especially if you are planning on to just do tier 13 crafts looks like if you reach 108 ascensions in most lines 
if not all of them, you'll get a bonus to essence production. So, I mean, it takes a lot of ascension shards to get there, but it may be worth it if you are considering playing this for a long time. The last thing we forgot to check out is the mausoleum, the new building. As you can see, it's up here near the summoner's tent and the wizard's tower. Our guild has already started. And as you can see, um, it's a eye-watering 2.12 essence per hour. So, you know, straight away, if you're just making one tier 13 with no upgrades, it will take at least three hours for you to have enough essence to make one craft. So until you get things built up, I dare say you'd only be making one tier 13 at a time. But we'll see how we go in the future. And while I'm here, I'll do some investing as well. Finish that off. Alright guys, so that's a look at the new update, the tier 13 items, the components, the new resource, the new worker, the building. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think of it and if you are up to any tier 13s and which one's your favourite so far. But yeah, I know I'll be getting stuck in as soon as I can and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.